welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana Edgeworth and we are back with another video. And if you can't tell by the title, whichever one I decide to name it, we are talking about our 2022 goals. And I just kind of want to go over how do I plan on being successful for my 2022 goals and how was I doing from last year to this year. Going over everything, I decided to do this kind of like vlog style a little bit. Just like talking down to chatting with you guys like here, nothing fancy. Just because I feel like that's the way it should normally be, right? Like we don't need to do all of that. Sorry for my lost voice <laughs> this week, past week, if you guys watch my vlogs, I definitely was screaming over music, so I hope I'm talking clear enough and not crazy enough to where you think that I sound crazy like this all the time. But yeah, we're gonna get you right into the video and I will see you guys in the next slide. And of course, before we get started, I wanna make sure you guys don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl's channel. All my social media will be linked down below and everything like that, so if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below anything and we're just gonna go ahead and start with our first thing so the first thing i want to talk about is like what's the point of even having goals because i do hear some people being like oh well i know that i never am successful at my new year's goals or my new year's resolutions i don't like calling them resolution personally because like it's kind of like temporarily and it's like you need to perform new habits that being said i feel like we have to look at our past and then look at okay what if we what were we successful at what can we get better at and make it little steps so i feel like it's important for you to set goals for yourself and figure out how can you accomplish them don't tell yourself that it's impossible and that you're not able to accomplish them because you really are so i actually found my list and i'm gonna go ahead and put a screenshot maybe over here in this corner <laughs> this is more room over here um yes i still have my tree up in january if you guys know me better it probably will be up before February is over, but not really. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about our 2021 goals and what I had set for myself. I have them on my phone. Again, there's a screenshot here if you guys wanna check it out. I'm not like super detailed when it comes to just like, I'm everything's electric for me. I know people like to write things out. If you're a writer, go ahead and write things out. I also did write a little stuff out on my journal. I can show you that as well, but everything ended up being on, the, uh, on my phone. Because I feel like we're always on our phone, phones in our hand. If you want to think of something or come up with something and look at something, it's your phone. Like that's the best way to do it. You leave your planners at home. You can forget them. They could not be a part of your habit. But everybody keeps their phone on them because it's a necessity these days. For 2021, my first goal was to have an active lifestyle. Three to five times a week is when I wanted to go to the gym. I say for about, according to my Apple Watch, I want to say that I did that for like a month and a half, maybe two months during the pandemic where I completely were out of school and then I wasn't working during the time but I was in the process of like between out of school and like moving to Houston I was being completely committed to the gym and I started to see my weight like fluctuate if you guys don't know like I'm on like this weight loss journey I've been on it for a long time but I honestly did not take it as serious as I should have yeah so my weight will fluctuate like this between like a five pound range and then it wasn't until I moved to Houston to where I'm actually heavier than when I was when I actually started being active in my by me working into an office compared to like me being active every single single day I went to like being in the office and coming here and driving an hour driving back like I sat down a lot my activity was very late low and my food was like the same but my activity had it decreased so that caused me to actually gain weight so that's something that I feel like was partially successful with but it wasn't obviously we're talking about a whole year so that will be a no but it's okay because we're gonna add that on something we're gonna add that on to the next year which will be for 2022 the next thing was time management if you guys didn't know I've had a history of not working for companies anymore because of my time management skills and I also had a learned habit from someone too that was very close to me not gonna put her business out there but time management has always been like a bad thing for me but honestly ever since I moved here my time management has been on fleek okay because I'm telling you not like when it comes to like meeting people for brunch or something like that probably it'll be a little uh always a little bit behind but like when it comes to actually being on time at work which is what was important to me that has been for the most part like a good 90% on time if not early I feel like now I'm still kind of like getting back into it because it's only been like about two weeks you know what I mean my cat is um, using his litter box but it's been about two weeks so far so I feel like I'm getting better at it again to be punctual because I feel like in the professional world you have to be punctual even if you want to have your own business being punctual is important as an adult so that's something I'm still gonna keep but I didn't really add it on to my 2022 list but that's something and I didn't put nothing next to it because I felt like I don't know how to be have I mean I, I watch a couple of videos videos on time management but there's no actual way you just have to really do it my next one will be eating healthy about 85% of the time I feel like I did eat healthy 85% of the time but I was now that I'm counting my calories a bit not like to the T 
I started to learn that it wasn't really like what I was eating is more of like how much I was eating and what was I pairing it with so I would say that it's still, it's still a success though because I did eat healthy 85% of the time so for my YouTube channel I have YouTube channel goals of course I wanted to post at least two times a week I didn't really have I, mean, I know in my head like I wanted probably a thousand subscribers if you guys can't tell your girl reached above a thousand subscribers I think we're at like 200 sorry 2000 and point 22 K subscribers right now which is still pretty low but we're still making it and I feel like by me being consistent for the whole entire year like that's crazy I was consistent the whole entire year I made up my mind that I wanted to take YouTube serious that being said that's when I started seeing an actual improvement in my channel because you guys didn't know I had my channel for years like years 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 but I was just posting whenever I felt like it so my channel was not gonna grow like that flexibility I'm gonna be honest with y'all right now your girl did not do no type of stretching all 2021 like it didn't happen like that's something I could say like I did not do at all and the next one would be like for me to graduate with my bachelor's degree if you guys watch my vlogs that happened super happy with my proud of myself super happy for myself because that was a big accomplishment in my life nobody can ever take my degree away from me no matter what happens in my life so that's something that i was really proud of and i did it a smart way completely debt free you feel me like i made sure i wasn't doing anything crazy to where i put myself in school debt so spiritual like having an open heart of course i had an open heart learning more about like spirituality being open to other people's religion being up open to other people's like lives and their spiritual ways learning more about like crystals and healing and stuff like that so that's something i feel like would just make me just learn more about myself like more self-healing so i definitely did learn that in 2021 for money i want to save up to 15 to 20 grand that happened at first but of course moving to houston that kind of put me a little behind if you guys don't know like i'm trying to buy a house so yeah like that happened so i'm gonna go ahead and give me credit for that because I did it but being an adult you know like things happen and you move you know of course like moving to Houston was a goal of mine too if you guys can tell like I'm in Houston now <laughs> so that was definitely a success an investment I was supposed to analyze a house or like run my numbers for a home every single week for a whole year so I could learn like to be comfortable with the market that clearly did not happen so and then I wanted my debt I wanted to maintain debt free I'm close to being still debt free but not really I did take on some consumer debt my car is still completely paid off and everything like that but i did move again and make some decisions that weren't the best decisions so you have to work on that but it's not nothing crazy to where i feel like i need to like worry about it too much and for educational wise i just really wanted to make sure that i listen to a podcast like every morning i did that for probably until i moved here to houston so like i don't know what like eight months straight listening to a podcast i used to go on walks to listen to podcasts i did stop it but like during i want to say november till like on i haven't been listening to podcasts every single money morning but like pretty close to it to where i would say that i do it now but i would go ahead and give me a point for that so now i want to talk about my 2022 goals and what i have going on for this year the 2020 goals are basically like what did i do what i still want to do from last year what was i still need to be working on from last year to this year or was something that i did not get to work on last year that i can work on this year because i feel like we have like this i don't know like a cup and you only can fill up the cup so much without it being overwhelming so like me trying to like there was a time where i was trying to go to school pay off debt make more money da -da -da. like i was trying to do so much that i was kind of go to the gym be healthy eat. you know it was just like you have to learn that especially if you want to make it a habit doing a little at a time is what is going to help you i don't know why i just gave you guys that advice when that's not time for advice but yet we're gonna go ahead and go over my goals for 2022 so my goal for 2022 is go ahead and hit 10k like, I feel like I could really do it y'all like I feel like I could really really do it so I know I have a way of doing that I put on a side I don't want to really put like how I'm going to do things yet just know I have like a exact plan of how things are going to go just for personal reasons like you guys will see it the next year when I decide to make a video like this I don't want to post like the actual details of like how I'm going to do it but just know I have plans to hit make my channel at 10k and I just literally just ask myself what does a 10k channel look like and then that's how you just roll from that also I want to be purchasing my first investment property i'm super excited for it i've been waiting for this for about two three years now i've been saving up for it i was studying it everything reading books about it and i'm just so ready to buy my property only thing is is that i have not been really looking at the market like that like i should be just because i'm focused on on actual work right now because i'm still in training training it's like literally over six months it's crazy another one of my goals is for me to actually see progress in my weight loss journey i say it's okay if i don't lose 
the actual pounds. I just want to see progress. If it's in pictures, if it's in weight. Like I just want to know that I'm able to lose weight on my own without getting a trainer. So I'm like literally taking it so serious as I can and still living my best life if that makes any sense. And I know I can do it. So it's just for me to see progress. It doesn't matter like what the progress is as long as some progress. That's all I want to see. Because I feel like I've been on weight loss journey for so long but I haven't really seen like a consistent progress again flexibility i always want to be flexible since i was a little girl your girl always wants to hit the splits i've been a cheerleader i've been a dancer i've been all of the good stuff that you could probably think that it, that requires you to be flexible and your girl in 2021 and her whole life has just never been flexible like i've never hit the splits so i just feel like now i every time that i go to the gym i try to it's not every single time i try to stretch before i work out which you should do anyway so it's like just a little bit of stretching because let me tell you at 25 years old even though i'm 26 now 25 years old your girl was popping bones like you would hear me it would be like some like golf balls just every time i got up like my back like the back bottom of my back would literally as soon as i get up like i'm just popping bones like i'm freaking 60 years old like that's a problem so your girl needs to work out i mean not work out your girl need to stretch because if i don't stretch i'm about to be popping bones like i'm freaking 70 and that is not what you want you want to take care of your body so so this is the last thing on our list and i just came up with it like later on than the rest of them i actually want to be people who are real estate investors are in into real estate i feel like it's good to surround yourself around people that you want to be or want to do and i have not met anyone who's actually doing real estate i met like one girl probably at a country club but like i want to really just like talk to someone sit down like really have a one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that and that's my goal i feel like i should start surrounding my myself around people who's doing things and that's going to help me be more successful in actually investing okay guys so now that we went over that i want to start going over how can we reach our goals for 2022 i gave you my goals from last year i gave you my goals from this year now i need to kind of talk to you how i plan on doing that because i did reach a lot of my goals for 2021 and it's more of a mindset thing so i did you know make a list so let's go over number one so the first thing i have on my list well so the first thing i have for you to do to be successful with your goals for 2022 is to actually write your goals down i feel like a lot of people don't do that they kind of just put in their head like oh i want to lose weight and that's it like they just think of it and that's it like you have to actually sit there and really think to yourself okay what do i want to do in 2022 you also have to ask yourself in the very beginning is how do i see myself in the future you have to actually start acting like your future self so if you see your future self being a you know more fit person more healthier person you kind of kind of think to yourself like okay what would that if i was healthy what would i be doing if i was healthy you know like what decisions would i be making if i was healthy going back to writing everything down i wrote things down first the first thing i thought about i like i showed you like the little list like i do i write it down there and then next to you know i wrote down this list here in more detail more detail that's what i did so I write everything down first and then I kind of like break it down even more. We're going to get down to that. But the first thing you need to do is honestly write things down and just break it down. Like, okay, making sure it's not too much, making sure it's not too little, making sure that it's very realistic for yourself. And even if it's smaller, like if you had a problem like losing weight, I don't know if this obviously is like a good example for me. If you had a problem like losing weight this whole entire time, right? Why don't you just be like, okay, let's go smaller. How about let's just not drink soda anymore? Like the, you could go narrow it down like really, really, really small. So the second thing on the list, I want you to go ahead and think of your goal and ask yourself, how can I do blank? Whatever it is, right? So for me, like I asked myself when I was in debt and I didn't have a good job, I asked myself like, how can I pay off my credit? How can I make more income? How can I lose weight? How can I be more active? How can I be more healthy? So many questions you could just ask yourself, like ask this question like how? I feel like a lot of people just think they can do stuff and don't really come up with like a how. Like you gotta really think to yourself, how can you become a millionaire? How can you become rich? Like there's so many things things honestly type it into youtube how can you do whatever and a lot of the questions will be answered just ask yourself how once you find the answer to your how you want to break things down to a daily basis as you guys see i broke my goals down breaking it down is going to help you actually plan it out so you need to find your how and then the next thing which we're about to talk about right now is actually breaking it down so the, first, the example that I have now is my actual journal. I wrote down, again, all of these, like, Sunday, Monday. So you guys see my goals. I told you guys my goals. So then I wrote on Sunday, like, okay. And I also came up with another, like, habit. I want to shop every two weeks. I'm tired of shopping every week. And I want to cook every other day and not cook every day because I feel like that's taken from my time for my goals. 
that was my how. My how was, how can I go to the gym every day and be consistent on YouTube when I have no to little time? So that being said, I said, I need to make, create time. I can create time by shopping on the twice a week. That gives me an extra day. And cooking every other day. That gives me extra time to like go to the gym and not feel overwhelmed. Like I have to cook every single day, you know? So then I put on my Sunday like, okay, only grocery shop like twice a month. Then on Sunday I have to clean, plan workout meals, vlog posts. Um, I have for, for example, a Wednesday. I wake up, work out for one hour, post content. Like I have everything basically written down there, right? But it gets even more detailed than that. Like I thought about my house. Then I wrote it down like oh, what my week will look like. Now I'm gonna show y'all what I did right after that. So what I did after that was actually, cause like I said, I like to keep everything on my calendar. That was my first, my first thing was to actually write it down to see what it looks like, to see what my week looks like, see if it makes sense. Then after my first week, well, during my first week, I wrote everything down. This is what it looks like. I can also screenshot this too if you guys wanna see it. Actually, I will just screenshot it so you guys can see what it looks like. I literally make a count, like put everything in my calendar and I make them a task, I don't make them an event. I make it a task that I need to do and I set a time that I need to be done. That way I know. So at 7.45, my reminder goes on like, you need to go to the gym. Now do I go to the gym at 7.45? No, but we're working on it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just like, okay, cool, reminder. I need to go to the gym today, you know, like, or I need to be cooked today. So sometimes it may not work out. Sometimes I won't be able to do the laundry and what I'm supposed to do, but it's about it being done and you actually visually seeing and being able to mark it. Like, uh, I think Alyssa made a calendar thing where you can put up whatever you want on your written calendar. And every time you did something, you give yourself a certain color and like put a smiley face next to it. For me, that's like a good thing. But for me, I can literally say, Monday, I cooked dinner, right? So Monday, can you guys see that? Monday, I cooked dinner. So I can literally just click on it, click on it here, and it says cook dinner. And I could just put mark complete. And then it will just literally cross it out. And that is also like a good feeling like, wow, I actually did all of these things. And by it being in your phone, you can literally add to it at any time. So sometimes when I need to remember all that snap, I need to go grocery shopping. So let me go ahead and just, I need to go grocery shopping like during my lunch break while I'm at work. Or I need to do whatever the situation is I need to do. And I didn't put it down. I could literally just add it right then and there. So um, that's by Google, by the way. If you guys don't know, you can have the calendar. You can make it all different types of colors and stuff. Make it all aesthetically pleasing. Like I said, this is a task. So I have everything the same color. But if you want to make it events, you can do that as well. But events, I'm keeping it for actual events. But for tasks that I'm doing on a daily thing, I'm going to keep it just like that. Because it keeps me on my stuff. Like, it keeps me consistent. Like, okay, what I need to do? What time I need to do it? What is to be done today? Okay, I can't do it today. I'm going to keep it there. And I'm just going to do it tomorrow. Like, I've been, it's been three weeks so far. And I've been to the gym first week for four days. Second week for five days. And then this week will be for four days too. And the only reason why it's for four days, y'all, is because of my last appointment. I know. But that's way better than what I was doing. I was literally hitting in 2021, two to three days maybe towards the end of the year. So I wasn't gonna see results like I, like like how I will be seeing results now, but being more consistent. You know, so you just have to really be passionate and not even just that, like if you want it, you want it. You need to know that when you're doing something that it's a discipline and not motivation. So you have to do it. Like if you see my vlogs, I will really drag myself to the gym. Matter of fact, I'm supposed to be at the gym right now, but instead of making this video. So right after this, I have to get dressed and go. It's not an option for me. It's like literally just being disciplined and knowing what your body needs or knowing what you need or know what your finances need or whatever situation is you have to really just think to yourself and break it down break it down as little as possible and start making yourself have these small little habits and then sometimes you can have a connecting habit i also would recommend this book called atomic habits i can go ahead and leave a link down below from amazon yes so let's do that because atomic habits also said this thing to where it's like leaking habits so for me, you guys know I never freaking stretch. So now I tell myself, before I work out, because I am, am more likely in habit to working out, before I work out, I need to stretch first. It's like automatic compared to like, I don't know, like if you guys want to read more, Okay, cool. Before I brush my teeth, I need to read, you know, a page or two. Like you have to do whatever that you already have as a habit and add that new habit in there. That's what's called a connecting habit. And that's going to help you. Same thing with my cooking. Okay, cool. I'm cooking. Well, instead of me watching YouTube channels, let me listen to a podcast. Or let me watch a video on, you know, like that's productive on YouTube. Instead of watching a movie, you know, like, or while I'm watching a movie, let me do some sit-ups. <laughs> like, while I'm watching my show every week, let me budget my finances like there's so many different th things that we can do to stay on our stuff it's just more of like do you really want it you have to ask yourself that and you have to create habits and that's the last thing i have to say that's how i plan on being successful with my 2022 goals i hope you guys like this 
video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl's channel. My name is Tatiana Edgeworth. If you have any questions or any concerns or any comments or how do you guys actually, how do you guys plan on even being successful with your goals in 2022? What are your goals for 2022? Go ahead and comment that down below. And again, I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye, babes.